he got so ill that the doctors had given up and said there is no hope you better make arrangements hum aisa lag raha tha ki bilkul jaise hum log ke agar hum kal jawan yahan se chale gaye to phir shayad bahut mushkil hai hamari organization ke liye even ki aur हमारे से उसके छोटे से छोटे बच्चे ने उनके लिए दुआ की कि अंकल जो उनको खुदा बिल्कुल ठीक करे और वापस लेके आए क्योंकि शायद उनके बगैर बहुत मुश्किल है हम लोगों के लिए बहुत मुश्किल है तो छोटे बच्चे तो अभी उन्होंने तो बहुत आगे तक जाना है और उनके आगे तक जाने के लिए अंकल जो उनका होना यहाँ पर बहुत ज़रूरी है बहुत सडनली ही केम बैक एंड बैक टू नॉर्मल एंड नथिंग नो डैमेज वॉज कॉज नो नथिंग सो द डॉक्टर आस्ट मी वट डज दिस मैन डू so i said well this is what he does lot of social work he does on the quiet you know without making a you and cry about it so he said ah there must be something that uh, he has to finish that he's come back like the pipe piper of the SOS and all the children used to just love him because he had dedicated his whole life to the children aur bachon ka hota hai ki hum apni choti choti cheeze like gaadi ab unki gaadi koi toot gayi hai kuch to wo hum uncle se kahe ki wo hamare liye laaye unka ye hota hai ki uncle uncle hi hai ki jo hamare liye kar sakte hain somehow from the very beginning i have an attachment for uh, children uh maybe because i don't have my own <laughs> you see so then i have adopted all of them right one of the subordinate died uh, suddenly and uh, he had very young children at that time so seeing that you know there is nobody to take take care of them so he took care of the entire family one of them happens to be now uh, a wing commander in the air force other uh, they are also doing very well in life and when i entered i see this angel sitting in a huge office on a table and he was looking at me through his glasses from the top he got up met me and he asked me what happened and then he said ke beta apna address inko likhwa do i'll come to your place then onwards uh, i think he has been our guardian angel throughout our life uh, he has driven us in the right direction whatever we are today uh, when i tell my colleagues about the story they think that it's a fairy tale maybe it's not true it's not possible that in one generation uh, same generation can travel from one point to another you just need uh, to give them a little push you know they don't have to depend on you for uh, uh, spoon feeding spoon feeding is very dangerous from the sos then he started at the same time adventure foundation which was an organization that uh, the average p- person in pakistan the average child in pakistan could avail of such facilities that were not expensive we didn't have much equipment and uh, bigre jaan other road to his brothers who were outside the country to send some tents some um, uh, gear which can be used in Uh, camping and trekking so this is how we started uh, later on i being in the army i managed to get some tents and as and when they were not committed with the mountain warfare uh, activities so we will share and take the children initially it was only during the weekend but later on uh, we started uh, getting the children for more than 3 days 5 days so this is uh, how adventure foundation came into being you know he doesn't accept ki ha theek hai theek hai chalne do he has standards and you must meet the standards and keeping standards alive in a culture where mediocrity is now average and normal that is one of the very special qualities he brings to adventure foundation and jan nadir was able to put adventure foundation pakistan on the world map
Fortunately, with the passage of time now, speaking today, we've managed to convince the parents, we've managed to convince the teachers. The only side we've not been able to convince is the government. <laughs> गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड उन्होंने एक जबरदस्त किस्म का तोहफा पाकिस्तानी पाकिस्तान नेशन को दिया पाकिस्तानी यूथ को दिया आई हैव टू टेल यू अबाउट हिज ऑनेस्टी व्हेन आई वाज वेरी यंग एंड ही वाज चेयरमैन सीडीए ही हैड अ ब्रीफ केस इन दैट देयर वर टू एनवेलप्स थ्री रादर एनवेलप्स इन व्हिच वन वाज एएफपी द अदर वन वाज सीडीए एंड द थर्ड वन वाज पर्सनल that was very amazing and surprising to me and i said i used to ask him that why can't you just hold one and then later on distribute so he told me that whatever uh, job is done the money goes out of that box doesn't go from anywhere else but one gentleman who came uh, that was very interesting also he said ja main ji plot le kar jaunga hai मैंने कहा जी प्लॉट नहीं है अवेलेबल अभी फिलहाल तो, तो नहीं नहीं कहता जी मैं लेकर जाऊं आप ऐसा करें सबसे छोटा प्लॉट मुझे दे दें तो मैंने कहा हाँ छोटा आपको दे सकता हूं इट इज सिक्स बाई थ्री फीट उसको नहीं समझ आई <laughs> बाद में जब चला गया किसी ने उसको बताया होगा कि आपके साथ तो बड़ा मजाक हुआ है सिक्स बाई थ्री तो कबर होती है ही वॉज देन नोन एज किंग ऑफ कोहिस्तान बिकॉज he would fly to places uh, to the places which are completely destroyed he had unlimited funds and there was no check on him and there was nobody who could audit him because if you imagine one of our fine ministers today having this liberty that the whole of kohistan you have to rebuild so imagine how much you can do i mean just by giving a contract to one contractor but the biggest uh, uh, advantage i enjoyed was complete independence can you believe it that during those 5 years there was not a single visit from any of the higher ups in the ministry or something nobody came there so i was so now that uh, gives you uh, two options one option is you go bad or you do good fortunately for me I didn't go bad. You see, so I was able to bring that wild area into the, and make them into a district. And it was the uh, late governor of Northwest Frontier Province, General um, Fazle Haq, who said to him, "He's one of the only honest people in the frontier." <laughs> very keen, very dedicated, and he has so many other um, facets in life. For example, I remember detailing him uh, for a water divining course, and uh, he uh, learned how to divine water. And I think later on, Jan Nadir became one of the top water diviners of Pakistan. Brigadier Jan ki hamesha ye khwaish re ki ye knowledge jo pani ka hai ye aage transfer kar di jaye. लेकिन ये ख्वाहिश कभी पूरी नहीं हुई और कभी कभी वो बड़े अफसरदा होकर कहते थे कि हो सकता है ये नॉलेज जो है ना मैं अपने साथ जो है ना कब्र में ही ले जाऊँ आई मीन देर इज नो सब्जेक्ट ऑन दिस अर्थ दैट यू आस्क हिम अबाउट एन ही डज नो दंसर ही रीड्स इफ यू गो एंड विजिट हिम एंड यूल सी वट ही पोजेस मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मीन हिज बैंक बैलेंस इज नील इज वट द पेंशन कम्स एंड पेंशन गोज but the books he had a knack of inventing stories like for instance if there was a, a a man who was living there at that time in multan where we were living uh, he had a little store like lentils selling lentils and things like that so his name was teka and from that man came the stories <laughs> then teka had was got married and she was tiki and then the children were tiddly you know <laughs> and it was so fascinating that every night we'd get into bed with him all of us and we'd listen to these stories uh, we had uh, various discussions on different topics but uh, they they all were either dealing with engineering or military matters or youth affairs or nation building activities um all meaningful I, i not i wouldn't say serious subjects although they were but you know um, 
मीनिंगफुल एक्टिविटी naughty leader in all the naughty things like we had a neighbor that was pre partition and this was a a sikh gentleman you know the sardar ji the and he had a young daughter so he used to lead us all and go and try to um, tease this girl and the father used to come out with a towel you know to hit us and of course invariably myself and my other brother we'd get caught because we were young and we couldn't run fast <laughs> then he'd again come back to rescue us at a certain stage my mother had gone to france with three of us my two brothers and myself so he had stayed with the father so he was very much under the father's influence my mother was french and my father hailed from hazara aptabad and uh, my mother and father got married in france in 1924 my mother being french and never you know she didn't think that was important to have arranged marriage people should choose their own so my brother being a very reserved person number 1 and then number 2 at that time my father died so there all the family responsibility came on him looking after his mother his brothers his. so he he sort of dedicated his life and felt that if he got married then he couldn't do both these things together maybe that's why you know, if he was married his concentration of his goodness would have been restricted to his family only the wife is very tough i know this you can't do what you want to do so probably his goodness had to spread all around that is why the almighty thought that if he's better off he's alone <laughs> if you don't get married then in older age you become frustrated and you become you know this that the other and nobody took after you and so on and so forth so i have not felt that eh? so i'm waiting maybe kal ho jaye parso ho jaye i'm here to go out of his way especially for poor classes he champion be a champion for them to jab hosh mein aaye to bulaya mujhe sham ka time tha ke andar aa jaye jab main gaya to bolte hain mujhe ke aap wapas ab to wapas chale jaye gaadi leke aur subah 9 baje mere paas aa jaye taaki jo kuch check book hain wagaira hain le aaye taaki main sign kar dun tankha ho jaye to maine bola sir ek din se koi fark nahi padta hai ek din late ho jayegi aap bimar hain to kehne lage nahi aapke ghar mein ya dusre ke ghar mein aata hoga lekin kai aise bhi hain jinke ghar mein aata nahi hota I had seen his interaction with uh, the president, uh, with the governor, then Fazl Haq. The way they used to regard him, uh, you cannot earn out of your ranks, out of your position. There has to be something special in you to earn that respect. Now you don't find often people like him who can nowadays uh, living of of, uh, of a pension and not earning anything and yet working from. Nine in the morning, right up to nine at night, he'll be writing, he'll be planning, he'll be. We're having a new village now, maybe in uh, Mansera, also close to the other village. So all the planning, the housing, and everything he does. And the Adventure Foundation has risen up from scratch, absolutely. to build this younger generation of this country we are a living example of that if one follows what he says he can create miracles
हजारों साल नरगिस अपने बेदूरी पर रोती है मुश्किल से होता है चमन में दी गए वर पैदा आई थिंक अप्लाइज टू जॉन नागिस वो फरिश्ता सफ इंसान है ऐसा इंसान मैंने पहले इससे पहले कभी नहीं देखा ही इज वन एन मिलियन लेट से ही इज वन एन मिलियन